Hi, hello there. This is Engineer, and today I present you the brand new progress update video of my Space RPG mod. And I just realized that all I've been, well, saying were just empty words and promises, and I decided to make a progress update video so that you will not fear that I am not doing anything on the mod. And so today, I will show you some of the new features in the mod. So, the first feature I'm going to show is going to be party parties. So, to create a party, we well write create party, and first thing we prompted the party name. You can in, you can write anything you want in here so let's mm, write in con courses then then you're going to be asked the party tag the party tag is going to be shown before the members names so let's make it core and motto well motto isn't really that important it's only shown in the party details so let's make it a long z and as you can see, my nickname has been changed to the tag, then the mark that lead, I'm the leader of the party I'm in, and the actual nickname. So now, if I write party menu, I can access the well party menu. As I'm the party leader, I'm shown the appropriate menu. If I'm a regular member I'll be shown a different menu I'll show it later so let's go through the menu items party details let's click on it and here we go info about tag uh, name motto current size premium party level and the what do I what does the body have and doesn't have uh, not have whatever. So yeah, then actually um not to write the every time I can just bind it to a key. And there we go. Now buy premium uh you need money to buy premium and I think it only gives you the right to buy the constructor ship which is not implemented right now. I am working on it, don't worry, it's just not done quite yet. So upgrades. Upgrades um well party upgrades, um mothership, construction ship and an extra party slot. I couldn't come up with anything else, but if you have any ideas, uh feel free to post them in this video's comments or in the official th thread. So we'll get to that later and now bank. Bank is a very important part of the party system. So the first item is uh, it's it's not meant to be clicked it's just it displays how much money your party has. So in credits then then deposit funds. Um, when you click on it um, you're prompted to enter the amount you wish to deposit. So let's um, write, I don't know, 500. And as you can see, the money, my money has been decreased, uh, have been decreased by 500. And when I open the bank, uh, as you can see, the bank funds were increased respectively. And I can do the same and withdraw the same amount of money. And as you can see, it's been they've been they have been added to my account and uh removed from the party account now toggle withdraw prompt um if that is toggled well on um when a player uh wishes to withdraw funds 
um, you are shown a message that he, the, the nickname wishes to withdraw that much money, uh, so allow or not. And well, that's basically it. If you don't allow, um, the person doesn't get the money. It's for well control. If you uh, don't want your party members to steal money from the bank, then you can turn that on and change withdrawal limit. Well, uh, withdrawing uh, funds, when you withdraw funds, um, there's a limit which is set by the party leader and you cannot withdraw more than that. So, by default it's 1000, by, uh, but the party leader can change it to whatever he pleases, from 1 to or from zero actually to um, whatever number and well that is it with the bank then there's this band party which basic basically removes the party and well kicks all the members from the party and that's mm, I'm not going to show it right now and it I think it's self-explanatory and let's uh, now let's proceed with the upgrades. So let's cheat a bit and um, make our party's funds um, an immense amount of money like I know was it um, one billion yeah one billion credits okay um, now upgrades okay so uh, party slot well I'm gonna begin oh I forgot to mention that I made a dynamic nebula system so uh, each sector has its own nebula or if non specified none and uh, when you teleport to another sector another nebula is shown so yeah the only the only um, downside of it is that the nebula images are shown over the base tile, so the floor, but I, I really can't do anything about that. It's just how the game works. I'm sorry. Um, now, okay, upgrades. So, extra party slot is also quite self explanatory. So, if click the member limit is now 6, and if we click party details, we can see the current size is now 1 of 6. And successfully uh, it will increase further to 7, 8, 9, 10 EDC. So I, I, I do want to, uh, I might want to uh, put a limit to the party limit basically so that if your mm, party is like if it didn't buy premium then um, you can't buy more than 10 slots, I know. Your party can have more than 10 slots. I really don't know. Just um, tell tell me what you think about that. And the big the big upgrade is uh, the mothership. It's both figuratively and literally big. So let's buy it. And we're prompted the ID of the person who will pilot that mothership. So let's enter ourselves and oh my freaking god so this is the mothership it the, the graphic was um very kindly provided by Cyril Yukimaru thank you very much for that it is amazing and it moves really slow as you can see by the trade lane rings very slowly advancing well uh, actually just closing in with mm, and yeah it moves really slow uh, but in future it will have insane fire firepower and immense shields and uh, armor so it's very hard to kill um, it is going to be very hard to kill and also it can carry other ships uh, in in its well docking bay, uh, I I don't think I'll be able to show that. But the, when when I'll film the next um, co-op 
video, I'll surely show that. And now you can exit the mothership at any time. At any time, and as you can see, it's now stationary. Uh, I turn around, and it's still stationary. And I can just fly out, fly wherever I please, and it's still going to be there. It it will still have the well mm, powers of uh, the same powers as if it was piloted. So you can still dock it. It will still have um, immense shields and um, hull. Of course, it won't be able to shoot because there isn't anyone to shoot. Mm, well, to give the commands to shoot, but and of course at any time you can come back and enter it and as you can see I'm back inside so that's that's it with the mothership so this uh, those two are the biggest um well updates um the well, this one I think because mothership counts as the party update well nebula the, the nebula um, stuff uh, isn't that big but i'm i'm also um slowly uh, progressing with the cargo um bay uh, the new cargo bay system and the equipment system right now i almost finished it's like um 80 percent um the inventory system so the cargo bay so to demonstrate, um, now cargo bay looks like this. It has a few pages, and for example, if I get to the trading zone, uh, well, as you can see, there's now a new item by equipment. But we'll get to that later. Um, now trade commodities. Let's buy um, two exorum, and now open my cargo bay. And as you can see, there are now two exorum in my cargo bay. I will make it that, uh, well, cargoes of a kind can stack, uh, but it, there will be a limit, which you can set in the config file, um, but uh, equipment, the guns, won't stack. That's, um, that's what I'm planning to do. So by equipment, right now I only put those two testing test guns which don't really work as of now justices so if I buy um, well if I click you can see hardware details if I um, click purchase I just buy it and it shows up in my inventory or if I well, buy equipment um, if I click info it will um, print the description of the gun which you can as well set it's it's all in the config file. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, by ships, um, it doesn't really work as of now, because I, I was, mm, I just put it as a placeholder. So yeah, and well, yeah, I, I do, I do, however, have uh, some um, updates on the graphics. So I'll, I'll demonstrate it now. <coughs> As you may remember, the uh, the version of the mod, as shown in the co-op preview with Sunny Autumn, it had really not pretty uh, Hypergate graphic. So I worked on that a bit, and uh, here it is, the brand new Hypergate graphic. I think it looks much better than it did. And also, there are some um, quite pretty effects um, and sounds, which are probably not heard right now. And also, a good demonstration of the nebula uh, feature, the new nebula feature. You can see that in the Aeris sector, the nebula is very different. And when I jump back to the, uh, well, um, what was that? Hub, hub sector. The nebula is back to the usual again. So yeah, um, that is it. Uh, oh wait. Um, no, actually, well, uh, I forgot to mention that um, the mothership can also it has a built-in hyperdrive, so it can hyperjump wherever 
you want, but there isn't a menu item right now, so it's just uh, hard coded. Uh, but um, everything will come with time, don't worry. And I hope you liked what I have made so far, what I've done so far. Um, leave your feedback, uh, tell me what you think, tell me what you think should be implemented in the next update um, of a non-existing mod. That's stupid. Uh, well, just mm, tell me what you think about the um, changes I have already implemented and maybe you think it's unbalanced or something. Just, just, just let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.